I need to pick up my run outline tool, select. No, I've got to go back because there was something I didn't do yesterday. This one. Parameters. Sketch. Wrong way. To increase a stitch property, left click. To decrease it, right click. All parameters. Apply. Generate. Click off. Okay. Outline tool. Numeral three key. Mm -mm. Can't get the curve I want, so let's move this one. Where's the little circle gone? Delete. There it is. That's better. Oh, this is playing hard to get today. Generate. Numeral three key. Don't really like starting on that far away. That's second node. And of course the dotted line is my stitch angle. Curve him around a bit more. Tell that generate. Parameters. Turn off auto corners. I think I'll just go for s apply. That's better. It's got rid of that loop that was hanging down there. Tell that generate stitches. Woken up with a stuffy head again. Back to normal. Uh, 
I go and pick up outline tool numeral three Generate stitches. Numeral three. Across it, this magnification, and you can see those are just one millimeter subdivisions. Um, it's too easy to think that I can put hundreds of nodes in, which of course I can't. Close him up a bit. Generate. I'm going to pick up the outline tool again. Numeral three. Was the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was the last one. Side one is always the one with the Sputnik on. And the Sputnik is the node with the little crosshairs coming out of it. Kind of dates me, doesn't it? Generate. Now before I do any more I have to go to image, background filters, apply, that's better. I 
that's not very smooth. Edit. I want you up there. I'll move you in a fraction. Give you a bit more of a curve. Generate. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's not so lumpy up there. Numeral three key, and let's pull out Let's just move this one in and bring this one down to here, which is just about the right position to start the satin. And tell that generate stitches. Let's pull out. I love these curves, I really do. I think one of the reasons why I like this type of design is because it's full of curves. Um, I'm not really into angular forms. And apparently, according to what research has discovered, the brain is fonder of curves as well. So, let's go and pick up the satin tool. Numeral three key. I'll keep that on there. My hand has got the wobbles again. <laughs> right, Let's move him in. And one of the reasons for having the slanted angles is so as I get the length in my 
satin stitching because it's a wee bit mean asking a machine to make satin stitch that's very short you're putting a lot of pressure on your hoop moving mechanism and while in normal circumstances I would say to you keep them so as they're at right angles to one another on something like this you don't have that width and I'll leave that one down slightly generate stitches there you go so you've got the broadening effect Now I go and pick up the outline tool again. Numeral three key. And you use the one that's on your alpha keyboard, not the numeral keys that are normally to one side on your keyboard. I don't know what the difference is, but there is a difference. Come on, because I want that nice loopy look. Can I get up to there? Not quite. Okay. You won't give me what I want in that length of stitch. I'll just have to put another short stitch in to there. Hit enter. Or rather, right click and tell it generate stitches. Numeral three key, when you've got a tool, Maggie. Move my screen so as I can see where I'm going. Oh, look at this one. I love these. Oh. Now, of course, if you start at the middle, when you come to do these, you will, in actual fact, be stitching over these. Now, because I've started at the head, my outline to make this curve is going to be stitching over the satin stitching. So... you decide which end you want to start at always assuming that you have a go at doing these and there are thousands of examples of calligraphic flourishes
Dover Pictura has a collection of them and that's where I got these from where's the curve node there there it is and just gently raise that one a bit too stretched at the end edit yeah generate mm, still a little bit stretched but I'm not going to ask it to increase okay now I'm going to continue and put the rest of these in because I know how boring it is watching somebody else digitize and when I come to doing these because they're not quite the same in appearance I'll do these in the next video on video so the start of the next video is going to be these and just pull out and there is the bird and I'll see you all in the next video